This is Bruce P. Grether again, coming to you from the old main lodge building of Elkhorn Lodge. This lodge was actually built in 1913, thereabouts. It has two major wings at the sides, and in the middle is a central portion connecting the two. And this is just a phenomenal, phenomenal piece of, I believe you call it Edwardian architecture. You can see it goes on and on and on. And it's largely closed up right now. Someone is running a nice pizza restaurant at one end, which was the old dining room. And the old ballroom and the lobby and all of the rest of this is just humongously haunted, as far as I can tell. You can see the old Elkhorn Lodge building, which was built in 1874. It's needing a little bit of love and care, as far as I'm concerned. But it's a beautiful old building. It's one of the oldest intact buildings, I believe, in Estes Park. And I used to live just like the character Paul Goodfellow in Thanks for Breakfast lives forever in the world of fiction in the second apartment from the front. You can see the old barn at Elkhorn Lodge here behind me. And above the barn is a very sacred place, Old Man Mountain, known to the Native Americans as Sitting Man, because for approximately 4,000 years or more, Native American medicine men have actually taken young braves to the lower slopes of Old Man Mountain up here and prepared them, and the young men went up to the top and cried for a vision. And the archaeology has established that this is a, a very sacred and long-term site for that kind of vision quest uh, process. So also in my novel, Thanks for Breakfast, which is set here in Estes Park, the very ending of the book takes place up on the top of this mountain at the very top. And you can see the barn, the horse barn there, and that's an old barn. And it's an amazing place. So if you like to be amazed and you like to be enthralled and engaged in weird stories and far out stories of incredible and, and wild and fascinating characters and, and some slightly paranormal goings on and some real magic, check out my novel, Thanks for Breakfast, which I call Rocky Mountain Magic Realism. Thanks for watching this video and please check out my book.